many, many moons ago, I had mentioned something about this clock and how it dressed up the place. Well, that's no longer the case. It's been out here for, oh, two or three years. It had like a brown to reddish sort of finish over here. And that's all leaked down the fence over time. That's just delightful. But look at this. It's like it peeled up. So I don't know what the hell's going on. I know it's old. So we're gonna take it down, see if I can fix it if I can't. I'll get another china clock. If I can fix it, obviously it hasn't kept time because the battery's dead, but I wanna see if I can fix that at the very least. Let's see if it's paper or cardboard or metal. It's probably cardboard. We'll take a look. Yes. Okay, so here's the clock. I don't know how much you can see. I'm gonna be using a vintage pair of pliers here. I don't know how old they are, but they're very old. They are made in USA. I polished these on the wire wheel years ago. Probably could use another polishing. Anyways, there's these metal clips here. I'm not really sure how they hold it in, so I'm gonna just try to sort of bend them out. something to happen. I hope this don't go sproying. Okay, they come out. Looks like I might have bent it. Maybe they just spring in that way. Okay, that works. That's how they go. Alright, so now I know how to... I don't know if you can see here. I bent that one out, so send it back and it probably won't work right. It's not even to mention that I probably won't be able to fix the clock nicely. So I don't really know what the point is. I'm going to keep these in the same orientation in which they came out. So the hook, the bent part of it goes down. If you can see the bent part, that all goes down battery, spider webs and nests, dead battery, slightly rusty, okay, so there's the clock, Here's the bendy part. It's paper. Oh, I can actually just bendy it back. It's like it's it's stickum gave way or something. Which means it'll probably fail again. And I should probably glue it, but. Why do that, you know? Just get some of the schmutz out of it. Um, I think that's really about it. <laughs> it was that simple. It, it just, it looked a lot worse than it was. It just looked a lot worse than it was. So I guess we'll put it back now. Maybe I'll blow this out. Nah, not even. There's a nice one in there. Dig out some of that stuff. Yummy. Alrighty. So there's that. I'll put this back down. I guess it really doesn't matter what orientation it goes in, but I'll put it back about the same. I'm going to move you out for a wider shot for a little change of pace. See if I can get these wire bail clips. I call them bail clips. That may not be what they're called, but that's that's what I call them. It looks
looks like they would go in, maybe you get one side started, and just bend the other side until this locks in. Perfect. I'm going to just turn it to make it easier. Actually, before I... No, actually, it won't matter. I was thinking maybe the face would be the wrong way, but it's going to be perfectly straight once it's, uh, I guess it's got bird poop on the inside of it or something. All right, well, maybe I'll clean the glass before I go any further then. Let me go do that. I didn't even see it was that dirty. Once you know how, it goes a lot quicker. Just bend them in and go right in. May for extra quick assembly on Rhine in China for you. I don't know if you can read it from where the camera is pointing and how far out at zoom, but it says made in China. Right there. Sometimes Tina goes to China, so. Anyway, that will take care of that. That battery is well dead. I have another one right here. You should always carry battery in your pocket. That's rather important. Uh, it goes this way. It's running. And it's bent off again. So it looks like I'm going to have to glue that after all. Which I didn't want to do. But at least it does still run, so I'm going to do this now the right way. <laughs> and, uh,. Once I do that, I'll pack it all up and uh, put it together and hang it back up. So that's going to do it. Thanks for uh, sitting through this with me, exploring how to open this thing up and see what the hell was going on. Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit surprise, and uh, keep track of time. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.